It's amazing to think about the fervor that surrounded Brokeback Mountain when it was released 11 years ago. Heath, Aang, and I were at the center of a storm that year, fielding the praise and controversy that came from telling a love story about two men. Standing here tonight, I can't help but think about Heath and how much he would have loved to witness all of this incredible change that has been affected in the LGBT community in the intervening years. He would be proud to know that he had somehow played a small part in all of it. I know that I am. And even though Broke Back was very much a, a movie of its moment in history, Aang made sure that it would stand the test of time. He kept it simple and quiet, with respect for the characters and their corner of the world. He knew that to tell a big story, you have to keep it small. Aang, like any master director, though there aren't many, is an extraordinary teacher. And while some auteurs lead their troops with flash and bang working with Aang, is a masterclass in silence. We don't always need to speak in order to communicate, and it's a lesson that rings in my ears often. I, uh, I remember the day we shot our big love scene. Um, when we, we finished the scene, we, both Heath and I, we got up and we looked over to see a huge smile on Aang's face. And um, I was surprised, because although, you know, though you might not know it, Aang has a really great sense of humor. Um, you know, he, he rarely smiled on set. But this was a shit-eating grin. <laughs> um, and so naturally, I walked up to Aang and I was excited to see any sort of emotion cross his face. <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> eagerly, I asked, I was like, how, what, how was that? How was that? You know, uh, you, know he, uh, you, you liked the scene? And, and he just was nodding in a really awkward way. And he just said, so gay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was the first of many times that he would say that, but what, <laughs> um, um, but what, what makes him so unique and so deserving of our highest honor is that Aang realizes that each film is elementally different. And instead of choosing scripts that are in his wheelhouse or bending narratives to meet his style, he meets his stories where they are, and he gives them what they need.